News 4's Andrew Siff live on the Lower East Side to show us how this self-driving program would work, Andrew. Right. Well, the key thing to know about this program in New York City is that the cars would be autonomous but not driverless. The mere idea of a car without a driver on the streets of Manhattan gets New Yorkers talking. I don't think that's possible. Why not? I just think with the level of traffic that's here, it just wouldn't be feasible to have people not behind the wheel. Well, to be clear, city officials say during an upcoming testing phase, the robotic cars would not exactly be driverless. But the vehicles would always have a driver behind the wheel. Transportation Commissioner Idanis Rodriguez said the new application for companies to test their autonomous vehicles in New York requires first a demo permit, then a testing permit. Companies must report all their data, including all incidents where test drivers have to take command. They will have to go through a rigorous approval process. The applications announced the same day Mayor Eric Adams, an avowed fan of high tech, unveiled a gun detection demo in the subways. This is a Sputnik moment. New Yorkers do not need to be lab rats for any type of technology. Alexa Sledge of Transportation Alternatives said the city's efforts would serve more people if they directed their tech priorities elsewhere. We don't have to bring driverless cars to New York City. If we want to bring in autonomous vehicles, let's expand things like the air train. That's an autonomous vehicle. That's also public transportation. Also opposed to automated vehicles, taxi and Uber drivers. Within New York City, we have so many pedestrian scooters, bikes already. To add these vehicles to the, to the road is just going to cause a nightmare. Now, some of the self-driving tech companies say that really they've done a lot of studies and they've looked at the data and they believe that the machines very often make better decisions than people do behind the wheel. But again, City Hall says this will be a two-year application process and there will always be a safety driver at the wheel just in case here in New York. Live on the Lower East Side, Andrew Siff, News 4 New York.